Episode 9 is just under 11 months away from its release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of fans are very interested in is, of course, exactly how J.J. Abrams will be answering a lot of the burning questions in Episode 9 from The Force Awakens. Because the thing here is this, is that in the Episode 7 film, we actually had a lot of questions that were never answered in The Last Jedi that will be answered in this movie. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc., one of which has all to do with Supreme Leader Snoke and a major hint and or indicator of his identity in the film. Specifically, a description of a young Supreme Leader Snoke inside of a cave wearing a white cloak. Snoke is described to have no injuries and is said to have fine, thin, blonde hair. The next goes over the background showing a full moon with a fire going on the ground. Snoke is tossing in journals and books. It's described that Snoke is destroying a certain legacy. The sequence is described as Snoke abandons the Jedi Code. The last goes over a distant view of Snoke next to the fire showing the environment which is described being a planet with many rock formations and canyons. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about this that are really piquing my interest for this movie. Now, we do know that J.J. Abrams is going to be answering some questions for the character of Snoke in this film, which honestly is great because a lot of people, including myself, have a lot of questions about Snoke's identity. You know, when it comes to an identity, that of course, the, sh the actual definition of that is the fact of being, you know, who or what a person or thing really is. And we've been getting little hints here and there about Supreme Leader Snoke and exactly who he really is, you know, Snoke's identity in Episode 9. Now, the thing that I really want to go over that really caught my eye is how he's abandoning a certain legacy and burning that legacy, and the sequence is described as Snoke abandons the Jedi Code. Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me, this sounds like a major hint that Snoke was once an ancient Jedi many years ago, well before the events of the prequel trilogy. Again, it has been heavily implied before in the past that Snoke is in or around a thousand years old, maybe even more than that. You know, he has been through everything. He's seen the Sith He's seen everything. He's seen the First Order, obviously, which in, in which he created the Empire. He's seen all the different generations of the Dark Side, as Maz Kanata once explained in The Force Awakens. You know, she said, first it was the Sith, now then it was the Empire, now it's the First Order. So, Snoke has been around from the very start until his death in The Last Jedi, or so we think he died. And when we think about Episode 9 about all the major revelations that are coming our way for a lot of the main characters in the Star Wars sequel trilogy. You could tell that J.J. is just trying to make us look at both the past two films in a different way, which honestly I think is very ambitious. I think that's a very high goal, a very big thing that he's aiming for to do for a lot of fans around the world in order for this movie to really kind of just stand out and really resonate with fans. So the next thing that I do want to go over is this planet. Now it's described as a planet that has a lot of canyons and rock formations and whatnot. So I think that this could absolutely be a planet based in the unknown regions. And the reason as to why I believe so is because you guys may recall that there was an actual sequence in The Last Jedi novelization. If you guys read the book, you will actually learn that there is a sequence in there in which Snoke actually hid the supremacy away in the unknown regions among the stars. The stars actually spewed out a lot of solar radiation, which would hide his actual destination from the Resistance or the New Republic, whatever have you. So you can see how there's a lot of hints here and there that Snoke may very well be from the unknown regions. Now the White Cloak, we heard about this not too long ago actually, the White Cloak just a couple of days ago of Snoke wearing this thing. And that began to make a lot of people wonder on whether or not he was connected to being an ancient Jedi. Now we do know that he's connected to the first Jedi. From what we heard just a couple of days ago, he was near one of the prime Jedi mosaics or should I say the first Jedi mosaic, whatever have you, that's both the same thing, essentially. So, with that being said, 
we do know that the Prime Jedi is most definitely an aspect of Star Wars lore that is very mysterious to this very day that JJ is going to explore a little bit more in Episode 9, which I think is a smart move. And the fact that he's really just trying to explore more Jedi and Sith lore that's going to answer a lot of questions for some of the main characters like Rey, Kylo, Snoke, and Luke, I think is rather fascinating. Now, Supreme Leader Snoke being connected or being a Jedi once or an ancient Jedi, if you will, I believe that he abandoned the Jedi code by burning it and whatnot. I think that's a definite hint that he was indeed connected to the ancient Jedi that we actually heard about in Episode 8. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.